Hello there, and welcome to the first module of Revit Architecture Design Presentation Fundamentals. This module is titled 3D Views and Rendering. Here, we're going to take a look at working with 3D views, our 3D camera, and also working with some site elements and entourage, and how to tweak a few simple render settings to create some really nice high-quality images of our project. So let's jump into Revit really quick and talk about where we're headed. Now, the great thing about Revit, we know up to this point, is as we're modeling, views are automatically generated, right? So let's jump to our 3D view. So I'm going to come in here in my project browser, and I'm going to double-click on 3D view. So here we are in our default 3D view. I also could have got here by clicking on my house, and it would have brought me to the same position. Now, quickly, very quickly, let's position this in a nice position so everything's visible. So I'm going to right-click in my draw area, and I'm going to say Zoom to Fit. So now we have a nice position. We can see everything going on in our model. Now, what's good about these 3D views is they're set up in a way that it makes the model very easy to read. Everything is parallel, pretty much. This is an orthogonal view. Now, an orthogonal view has its benefits. It allows me to explore the model without the distortion and confusion that sometimes a perspective may give you. But one good thing about a perspective is working with perspectives. They give you that really dramatic look, that cinematic look that you can get from a view. And we'll talk about setting those up as well. But first thing I want to do is I want to show you how we can duplicate and rename some 3D views. And then we'll talk about working with that camera in the next clip. So I like this view here. So what I need to do is I need to duplicate this view. And let's make a few other views that we can work with. So we have options uh, to work with when it comes time to presenting this model. So I'm going to stay in this view, but I do want to duplicate it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click it. And I'm going to come over here to duplicate view. And let's just give it a quick duplicate. So what it did here was, in our project browser, I now have a 3D view copy one, or I can go back to my original. And it's an exact copy. The positioning, the elements, everything is exactly the same. So now what I want to do is I want to preserve this view. So I'm going to go ahead and assign a name to this view. And I want this to make, make sense, right? So the positioning of this model, according to my view cube here, this is going to be the southeast corner. And I know so because south and east. So I'm going to name that. And I can name any of those views by coming to my view, right-clicking, rename, and I'm going to give it a name here. So I'm going to say South East Ortho. I'm going to say OK, and bingo. So now I'm going to come over here to the view that we, the copy we created. And now I'm going to make the adjustment in this view, and then I'm going to rename it so I can preserve the original. So let's say we want to do the opposite corner of this view. I'm going to use my view cube to get that done. So I'm going to say I want the northwest corner, but I'm going to make sure I check the top northwest corner of my view cube. And bingo. So not done yet. I want to right click and I'm going to zoom to fit. So its positioning is nice. Then I'm going to come back over, right click, rename, and now we'll assign it a name. So this time we'll say northwest ortho. So now what we did was we learned to set up a view, we learned to position it using the zoom to fit, we duplicated it, and we renamed the view. Very easy stuff. So now I can go back to either my initial view here that was set up, or I can jump to this one here. And now we have options. And we can change our visual style, we can click back and forth between those if you wanted to. Um, I'm really content with going with a consistent color for right now. Alright, so that's how we can set up our 3D views and duplicate and name them. And again, these are our orthogonal views of our model. In the next clip, we're going to talk about doing a similar thing, creating some more 3D views, but we're going to do so using the camera, and I'm going to show you how we can get that cinematic, dramatic perspective effect that we get using our camera. 